if you add these two equations together, right, C1 will be dropped. You will get C2 equal to T1 plus T2 over 2. And C, uh, temperature T1 plus T2 over 2 is basically average temperature. Okay? Take C2 back to either one, you can solve for C1. And at the end, you have C1 equal to 1 over B times 1 over 2, T1 minus T2. Side of delta Y, right? In other words, you say that temp velocity here and velocity there are not the same. So there will be momentum flux going in this y direction. Our shell is supposed to be perpendicular to it. So shell for momentum balance is supposed to be the same. Same kind of shell. Or if you prefer, in this example, we can use equation as well. We can use equation of motion. And I'm going to apply for C component only. Okay. <clears throat> First term can be dropped. Can we have a little practice before examination? We drop this, why? Steady state. Can we drop this term? Yes. Yes. Vx here is zero. How about this term? Vy is zero. This term? The whole thing here is zero. You can obtain from equation of continuity as well. All right? Pressure. Can pressure be dropped? No. There's an amount of fluid sitting on top of each other. Pressure cannot be dropped. What about this term? The whole thing here. Vc does not change with respect to x. It's, it does change with respect to y, so this one must be kept. It does not change with respect to z. This one can be dropped. G, can g be dropped? No. So rearranging equation. Okay? First of all, do you realize I did some mistake here? I do wrong. Very good. I start using this Navier-Stokes equation, but I cannot use it. I, essentially, I cannot use Navier-Stokes equation because Navier-Stokes equation assumes constant viscosity, constant density. But in our system, density is not constant, right? So starting by using Navier-Stokes 
That's the overall picture of the system. It looks pretty much the same. In the sense that Navier-Stokes equation can still be used. All right. In detail, density is function of temperature and temperature is function of y. So what should we do? In the book, it will start using Taylor series. I know, that's, that's not sound good, right? In Taylor series, I'm going to expand density around one point, right? In Taylor series, you expand the value of one variable around fixed point. And fixed point that I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose the fixed point at average temperature. So I'm going to take density at T equal to temperature average, expand them using Taylor series. Okay, now, from here, if I keep this for a while, start with another variable. Do you recognize this variable? From thermodynamics, okay? What does it call? Okay, it's coefficient of volume expansion. V is specific volume. Specific volume is 1 over density. Again, V here is 1 over density divided by, uh, differentiate with respect to temperature at pressure constant, the constant pressure. It's equal to minus 1 over rho d rho by dt at pressure constant. Okay? This term is the same as this term. Of course, under assumption that the pressure in our system is constant. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to call this one average density plus another average density times beta T minus T bar. This thing is called is function of y. Right hand side is function of z. They're equal only when they're constant. And solve them, integrate them independently. Okay? If you do that, 
you get velocity as a function of y. That's velocity profile. In this, this is second order differentiation. That means you need two boundaries. You have two boundaries as well. One is here, the other one is there. No, we assume viscosity is constant. If you want, of course, you can change viscosity as function of y as well. Just repeat the same thing here. However, this term, if you change this one, this one to viscosity, you will not have physical properties to replace that. That would be a little bit harder. All right, I'm not going through that because it's just mathematical problems. I'm going to stop here. Any question? All right, if there is no question. Remember, we are going to have examination this week on Sunday. Be prepared. It's not as hard as you think. Yeah, you still have three examination. If you screw up one, you can have two more, right? You still have a chance. All right, so see you on Sunday.